Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 47 first round match between Super Base 5221 with his Wood Elves, Fatal Justice with his Amazons. In the booth with me is Squirrel Dude and Daedalquist. Hello. Hello. Howdy. Boy, uh, howdy. I think, I think uh, Super Base also had a good uh, Amazon team for a while. Yeah. Well, he certainly doesn't have a good Wood Elf team, does he? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just I killed two guys. Team. Well, that's a way to start of a game of level. Yeah, it's not. Do it again. No. no. <laughs> um, so yeah, Super doesn't even have a wizard. He's got a babe. Like he's got nothing. I guess he's got a strip. Tackle. I did. I came to this game not knowing that we had a nerves of steel catcher, but now that I am, I will uh, just say it's terrible. Not taking nerves of steel ever. It's a bad mm. skill. Yeah, that's that's horrendous. horrendous. It's one of the three skills that you start. You have players that start with it, and it's great that they do, but you will never pick it up on that player. No. Also, um, I just want to remind everyone that in Blood Bowl 2020, it's worse. It's like a worse skill because yeah. everyone who can catch can't throw anymore. Yes, and yes. That's like the whole point of that's what makes it so good is that. Yeah. Um, for the enough scroll. Fucking anything. Fun anyway. Funnily enough, I mentioned that in my Pro Elf Guide that I recorded today, but uh, mm. not yet published. So yes, I did. I did call that out about the Pro Elf catches got worse by by you know as a byproduct of the passing nerf. So yeah, very nice, mm. very good, very good scroll. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame because there used to be uh, whatever. I don't want to just talk about Blood Bowl 2020 when we've got a <laughs> game, a of super Amazon exciting Wood game, Elves. a super exciting game. Can we see if Amazon can get split? By one word answer. <laughs> yes, that that is a thing that can happen in Blood Bowl, but maybe not this match. <laughs> yeah, I think the passing changes are pretty terrible. But... I think that the idea of a passing ability is a good idea, and they implement it in the most boring way possible. No, it's funny, I think it's a bad idea. I, I, I like the change. Like, at first, when it changed, you know, because I was there for Blood Bowl 2nd Edition... And when it first changed, I didn't like that it was, you know, simplified and, and dumbed down, you know, that you just have agility instead of having, you know, agility, passing and catching. And then, you know, after playing it a lot, I just liked that it was simplified and it better for new players and stuff, simple, and I just thought it was really good. And I think adding that extra... Con like, at least have a passing stat and a catching stat, maybe. If, if you're going to split it, have passing and catching, and then redo, completely redo how you do passing and catching, right? Make it a 2d6 roll where you add the passing and the catching and stuff, right? Then you can have... Then you can have a bigger difference if you if you know if like plus zero plus one plus two minus one minus two you can actually have then plus four and minus four on the rolls it can actually make it very reliable or whatever um but they didn't and it was just stupid and crap there, there's something there i, I think the, the idea of a passing ability is is fine that they chose to implement it in such a way that all it did would all it's basically served is to make human throwers and scaven throwers slightly better Every other player who could pass worse, and they've made the base passing harder. Yeah. And no, yeah, they've just terrible. tried to create the quarterback position, which doesn't, which isn't the problem with passing. It's not the thr throwers aren't bad, and then they made them more expensive, which I don't think was necessary. No. It's, yeah. Um, I think it's you know, a more dynamic game, and they didn't. Yes, they yeah. made it less dynamic. Because quarterbacks yeah, aren't dynamic. Like, that isn't how you make a game more dy dynamic, is it? <laughs> No. Right. Or at least not pocket passing quarterbacks. I think the issue is also that there were a lot. There were many players like say, dark elf runners, pro elf catchers, um, gutter runners to a degree, human catchers to a degree. These players that could make the game dynamic, and they made them all worse at passing. So it's not the players that could have like added more dynamism in addition to making like humans be able to pass a little bit and Skaven have a throw. They just made it all worse. So yeah. Not. I mean, I agree that it sort of needed a change because in this edition, agility does way too much. Um, it's just way too good. It affects passing, picking up, dodging, and catching. Yes, I would be fine with just pickups working if they're not in tackle zones, to be honest. 
And who cares if it makes lizard men a little bit better. And thank you very much, Jack Bull, for the raid. Glorious welcome. Welcome, Jack Bull, to a, a very exciting game that's so exciting we haven't mentioned a, basically a single thing about it, but there were two kills on turn one, and it's a bit of a crap what elf team, and it's a pretty min-max Zon team that's got a tackle pommer that isn't you know, refusing to hit anybody. But he is setting up extra hits, which is okay, I guess. Um, but I would for sure be run, wanting to tee off with Tackle Palm, really. Um, that was yeah, it seems why he is here. That's why Tackle Palm seems to be here, is to hit Blitz every single turn. Mm -hmm. um, especially, do like, I don't know why you're hitting a loner when you can hit a dodge player. It's the same odds to get him down. You could pile on, but it's not like the whales are doing anything. The whales are happy to just get screened and get hit for um, the next four turns. So, yeah. I can put any pressure on. All right. Yep. You got there in the end, Jack Bolt. Woo! <laughs> Five idiots. Yeah, that'll be on YouTube in 20 minutes. So there you go. You can all go and watch that then. <laughs> if you haven't seen it. Can you do that? Can you read like the chat from Twitch? No, no, I didn't put the Twitch chat on because it'd be too much, wouldn't it? Like, I didn't know how to put it on. So yeah, sadly. Sadly, the Twitch chat was not recorded in the Five Idiots. Five Idiots. Sometimes that's for the better, though. Yeah. They are not YouTube compatible at times. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, the stream wasn't very YouTube compatible. Yeah, definitely not as exciting as me getting incensed at Volk and Merrick. Volk because he was the imposter and Merrick for like, No, I don't want to vote on Five. I don't know. <laughs> that shaggy defense of it wasn't me is pretty convincing. You sound sus for like I was I lost my shit. Uh, I could yeah. not handle it. Good, that yeah. was like my last game. Yeah, that was incredible. That's a good point. That's a good point, Sadie. Yeah, that would be 82 idiots, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now he hits with Pom, Pylon. Pylon. Nothing. Yeah, Squirrel really lost his shit. Holy shit. <laughs> it was incredible. Yeah, I was... I wasn't real upset. I was yelling, but that was mostly because I just couldn't let Volk get in a word in Edgewise because the Shaggy defense was working for some reason. And I just couldn't understand it. <laughs> I have like, here are ten reasons. It wasn't me. Well, it's pretty legit. I think we need to look at Squirrel harder. <laughs> It was amazing. Real upset. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. He does foul in the first yeah. chance he gets, though. Which is fair enough, you probably got a high roll. Oh, no. Probably, he gets, yeah. He gets for there for classic, him. classic foul. And now the whole side. They get sent off for a stun? Yep. Sent off for a stun. the armor, like always, and then sent off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And now whole side open for the zones to smash into. Yeah, Rolex, he's had plenty of time, didn't he? He got through on turn six randomly. He is not blitzing this guy yet, which is weird, right? You should blitz him first. Amazons have been up players basically the entire game, and they can always kind of do nonsense if things get too pressured and I mean I think they should have I think they should have been things. pushing harder, but Yeah. It's it's okay, isn't it? They're not in trouble yet. Yeah. They'd probably want to be about here in this position last turn, but they're probably still okay. Yes. I mean, I would, I would, I would try to get further anything. forward, but yeah, it's fine. They just haven't got the players or skills to, to stop them, basically. No, these are both two very medium teams. Yeah. And given given what they've all got, it's just a huge advantage for the zone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there are, yeah, there are three Wood Elves dead, so, <laughs> effectively. Yeah, and they only start with 11, so, just terrific. They should have probably been fouling right the zones. Probably, yeah. Probably should have found some way to foul. There's, no, I'm sorry. They have a dirty player. They should definitely be trying to find yeah. a couple of fouls here. Yeah, because they've got two they reserves. Can. Maybe just keep yeah. the, the dirty player for, like, the dancers or whatever, but I still think just smashing them in would have been fine. Maybe you look I mean, for... Um, this dancer is coming. dying now. Maybe you look for the foul this upcoming turn now that like the middle of the field is so open. You need to power this dancer though. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, you can't can. foul if you don't if you don't power this down so quickly. And he's tagged the dirty player. Alright. He has let himself get pocketed a little it's bit. It's not he... a bad turn from Super Goose. No. no, he's in a bad... A... He got a good position from a bad one, I think. Yeah, yeah. Or at least he's made the Amazons, like, actually do stuff for a turn after, like, three turns of just letting yeah. them do whatever they want. Yeah, which luckily for him wasn't taking space. There you go, he gets the, in he gets the initial power. So now it's simple. Oof. Oh, hello. Just roll sixes. That solves all your problems. And 30%? You can everyone, and then you can... He's still gonna have to roll dice to score, isn't he, on uh, turn eight, which he shouldn't have done. Like he should have, he should have made this better. Yeah, and he's yeah, definitely. But he didn't have to. <laughs> like that's the sad reality. He just didn't have to. So it's fine. Is he even gonna have to roll dice though? We're a little bit. Probably. The elves are gonna make him roll dice, I guess. But I, I think he can get to where it's gonna be pretty. He's gonna have to do do like a three plus dodge here. We find. Yeah. We've got a we've got an uphill for a wrestle sack, which is probably shouldn't have been allowed. Like this is probably easier than it should. This is probably can easier you, than it should have been. Can't you just making a? You can you can just tag the ones on the far side. What are we doing with this catcher? I don't understand. Yeah, you're Why running it all the way around so that you oh, can so just, just leap, leap in for the one. Hmm. Yeah, I guess leaping. That feels. Uh, feels Wrong. I feel like you could go around, provide the assist, and get a he block with tackle. I guess you have guard, so you can't. So you can't just block it open. Mm. Well, you could one. You could uphill for a push, and then and then go in with this guy. Ah, uh, but then yeah, you'd need a power. I like that. I, li I like that play. Yeah, it was all right. It's the right play. It was all right. It was just. You should probably. Then you have the because then pushing that direction is good as well because that's where the short hands catcher is with pass. Yeah, it's just it's just the fatal just to should have pushed out of it like it was. Yeah. It, that was that was a pretty critical turn. Really. I guess making it a three dice block is worth making it so the ball gets blitz if it fails like guaranteed. I guess that's worth, but I feel like you can just it might be better just to make that. Especially if you're gonna take it, you know, I'd rather just make that two dice and have the ball still be safe. If <laughs> it fails, then like this, where it's like, if anything goes wrong, everything's bad. Yeah, but it's it's it doesn't it's not possible to roll hexaskulls. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no yeah, one's maybe. ever done it. Yeah. It probably it doesn't matter except for like one in however many times. So six thousand. Maybe the. Yeah, maybe the extra POW chance is actually a better chance to win. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, Diferation. Um, and Fluffy Burrito, yeah, like, elves can foul. Like, elves do get a really rapid, sneaky, get dirty player. And uh, it's fine. What I find odd is when people say pro elves get it, and it's like, well, their linemen are shit, though, and they're more likely to be down men, and, like, the team isn't even cheaper, really. Like, because their positionals cost more, so, like... Isn't it just more of a just a dark elf and a, and a high elf thing, really? The fouling, anyway. I think really. the team. I mean, the team does kind of end up being cheaper because they're getting the, they're they're more expensive at the start, but they are getting the skills you want. You're taking later anyway, kind of for free. They're definitely more expensive now because again, your just deal is worse, and you're paying full price for a skill that is just worse. <laughs> you're you're paying a half, a half price for a skill that you're now getting half of, so it's not like you're getting a discount on it anymore. Sides up still discount. Their blitzers are still amazing. But, but they went up as well, so. Yeah, for some reason. Yeah. Why are we doing the whole method? Well. Okay. I don't. Know, I don't know what he's doing here. He's not. He's not doing the whole. You know, he's got sides. Think like you're setting up for it initially, but I guess. Yeah, no. he's got this. He's got the leap, the leap, and then the side step. It's. Ah, oh, well there you go. He, he chose the skull. He literally chose the skull instead of the both down. Amazing. That's uh That's one of those things you do, haha, look how bad my dice were, and then, you know, one in thirty-six times your player dies, and you're like, oh right. 
That's Carry why on. I don't do that. Carry on! <laughs> <laughs> Carry on! <laughs> but no, I mean, he's pretty at shit creek, isn't he? Eight players. He still probably has the best players in the match, but... Because he didn't oh. do it. But he hasn't done anything for... He's only played the game for like three turns. So. He's, he's got one good player. To be fair, and maybe the catcher, maybe this catcher. The, the leap no. blodge step catcher is pretty good. The, this guy. With uh, sure hands and sprint sure feet. He's moved seven. He's moved seven. seven. He's so shit. This, this guy, this guy's a good player. I'd definitely take this blitzer, this blitzer, this blitzer over him. <laughs> the three guard guys I'd take over him. Just dackering all over time. Well, he's not dackering, is he? Is he? Maybe he is. Yeah, he is duck. Maybe he is duck. Okay, maybe he is gonna duck. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> I don't. I have no. I don't ever. I've never played Whittle, so I have no idea what the offensive strategy here should be for him. Um, um, it should be fail to knock over Amazons until they suffocate you with guard and kill all of your players with tackle bomb. Yes. That's about right. <laughs> Love. God, this feels like a matchup that a better Wood Elf team would be heavily favored in, but both these teams are so mediocre that Amazons yeah. feel very competent in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's Zons all over, right? They're, they're great when, when both teams are on no TV. TV. Yeah, if both teams don't roll, like, stats or anything, they're amazing. If, if both teams roll stats, somehow Amazon's like, look at all the strength. It's like, I don't know, you still seem kind of bad. So it's just really skills kill them, right? Just tackle pump, yeah. just kills them. Just kills them. And that is, you know, not... Like, they can't... De they just can't deal with mass tackle as well, which, as teams get bigger, they get tackled, don't they? Like, even Chaos end up with tackle bombers and tackle mighties, and then they just can't deal with it. And it doesn't matter what they've got, because they just can't... It's a, it, it's a problem with it's football, a shit really. It's dwarf team, that's what... Yeah. Uh, sounds are. They're shit dwarf team. Yeah, it's just a problem. It's just a problem with Blood Bowl, right? It's like the the, the scaling kill, like yeah. the kill scales, and the defense can't, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And in fact, their defense is the other way around because it's front loaded, isn't it? With everyone having yeah. dodge. Because they're the worst design team in Blood Bowl. Yeah, maybe. They're extremely opp oppressive at low TV and just a linear curve as. TV goes higher. Ogres. They get worse. Ogres probably is the worst team. Like Ogres are just they're just bad. They're yeah, not but they're fun not, to play. But some people they, love big guys, right? There's uh, there's a niche for it. Like there's they're not the worst design team in bubble. There's a niche for Amazons, just ask Marcel. <laughs> <laughs> I really dislike ogres because i feel like every game is like boy i sure hope i win and my team doesn't die and ogre yeah. strategy is i sure hope i kill them and can maybe win like it's just awful yeah right. but that's like playing against kill teams so yeah i don't know why they're still based oh. on the tackle palm dude either one either one dm or dodge yeah what the hell take the two plus because this is worse mm. I guess it stops him killing your dancer instead, but oof. What is I alright, we're appoing that. I guess you have to, but that no. is a bad sign. Yeah. You don't have to apple that. Yes, absolute pinnacle, yeah. <laughs> PC's ball on his line was amazing. <laughs> the the only reason I guess you're appoing that because he's he's playing for a full eight turn stall then, because otherwise you're just like I'll take the fifty fifty chance in two turns. And yeah, yeah, that's a good bad. point. Actually, he's got to. And to be fair, look, it's hard, right, to make a decision in fifteen seconds of like how mm -hmm. you're going to play this. But yeah, he should have been fouled because why don't? Why aren't you fouling now? You've got yeah, two reserves. Like you've got fouled, dirty yeah. player, just fouled every turn. And yeah. also, um, you know, you've got you've got to realize that yeah, you can you can get the turnover right with the strip tackler. Like he, okay, he's got show hands, but you can maybe get the the turnover with this dancer. So you're probably not going to be able to turn it out. St stall it out eight turns so maybe he's just bang it in and hope you can get something with a few L's and defense but I mean it's horrible isn't it it's all kind of horrible and you can't really blame him I mean, he's already shown he's tilted by taking the skull so Fair yeah enough. there's just been a couple of decisions where it looks like he's been disengaged from the game yeah honestly a little bit from the start with how like um 
lackadaisical he was playing. I, I want, yeah, I feel like maybe he went into it not expecting to do great and yeah. just hasn't really played. Hasn't really forced it. I don't know. I don't want to read too much into that, though. I really don't. Yeah. It's not like the Amazons have, like, really covered themselves in glory. They've played a very standard game and have had the better team and have had better... Oh, have been men up I the entire Xbox. game, oh, so... No. <laughs> yes, I mean, yes, getting the two players killed instantly. I mean, not the fact they were killed really mattered, but yeah, getting two players cast instantly didn't help, so... I, it's I'm lucky that's not the... <laughs> I mean, that's the problem with that point last turn. How are you protecting the wall this turn? Like, what are you doing? What are your plans with the wall this turn? And if that's to expose your dancer in order to keep the wall safe, then you sure as shit can't apple that KO. And also, there is a DP on the field. Yep. And He's just going to the next turn. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just like suicide at point last. I don't know, Wolfpack. No, I think I think it's harder for Zons to negotiate the draw successfully than Norse. And it's just easier for Norse to dice their way to glory. <laughs> I Norse feel killier, maybe because of the frenzy, maybe because and their kill sacks tend to be more um repl uh, there's just more of them on the team and they have some strength for it as opposed to the Amazons who just have to have guard or they can't get blocks they're also slower because they don't they move with six not move with seven runners so there is and they also have no access to claw so Norse probably can dice you a bit more and can get hotter and just have the tools to get their dice to be a bit hotter than the Amazons who just have to roll like hard tens against armor value nine teams yeah. just every single turn and like Norse have only won once haven't they and I think yeah. Yeah, it was it was an absolute dicing. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine I heard that it, that game was pretty fair and balanced, and the better player won. No. Yeah, I'm sure the Norse didn't definitely didn't like win on kicks without the reroll advantage or anything. Yeah. Hilarious. Yeah, after winning the toss and 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 the chaffs nearly scoring against them. But hey, you know, at the end of the day, like it's no slight on Veli, obviously. But yeah, it was it was definitely uh it was definitely a bit of a dice. It's a weird thing. I mean, it's been observed many times as this game just continues to devolve into just a complete ridiculous <laughs> dicing. Comedy mega dicing, some might say. Yeah. It's been observed many times that Sons are better at lower team value because dodge is so much more oppressive and non-interactive at low team value before people have tackle than... Um, anything block block is not defensive play dodges yeah well that's the thing at low tv the block is only offensive isn't it but then at high tv yeah. the block it does become defensive at least mm -hmm. um and dodge becomes kind of re becomes extremely hit or miss it either is an amazing skill if you're agility four yeah. and okay skill if you're agility three or just not or it doesn't do anything because tackle and dodge is still a bad interaction that they haven't done anything to try and make less bad. Yep. It's probably the worst interaction. Oh he could have surfed the dancer, couldn't he? Oh. Silly boy. In fact, they've actually added more interactions like that, because now they have um defensive and guard, a skill everyone wanted, a thing that makes guard work half the time sometimes. <laughs> yes. God, that's the that is probably my that might be easily my least favorite new skill. With all the passing nonsense, even worse, I, I hate defensive. I hate mm -hmm. it so much. It's a bad <laughs> skill in the game. Um, the game does not... Uh, no, it, that or um, Iron Heart skin, I guess. I really hate skills that are just like, this other skill doesn't work. Fuck you. Yeah. Um, and yeah, 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 try obviously should have... I could like, he obviously should have... Zons are slow and it would have got him a couple more turns and, you know, stops him getting tackle palmed a couple of turns and... It's almost like the deck is good, isn't it? Deck is good sometimes. Mm. Running the ward anti back to protect him so that the. Uh... Oof. It's it's named after the guy who uh, who hurt, who invented it. Die for a 
it should die for it should Who popularised it, yeah. Yeah. Um, Ma Monstrous Mouth is better than Catch, though, isn't it, Wolfbark? It's strictly better than Catch, so therefore... I... Um, you can take it on uh, Underworld, Goblins, and... Uh, Gutter Runners packed. Gutter that roll doubles for, yeah. like, um... Uh, for packed, things like one turn attempts or something like that. Yeah, pack packed yeah. goblins and underworld goblins for one turns. I mean, I don't think anyone. I guess maybe someone would take catch on a gutter, but I find it very hard to believe. Gutter on the underworld team, right? Because they have a gut, they have a gutter now, so they can take it for like a one turn attempt or something. Yeah, they don't have. I find it catch. hard to take catch on a gutter though. Yeah, on that team particularly. Yeah, yeah. but there's a if you don't need it because you have to do pushes now. But so having the catch reroll makes it easier. But yeah, I think cool. Monster's Mouth is fine. It's an interesting enough skill. It's like it catch but slightly different. It gives mutations like a skill that is reasonable, does something. I think it's fine. To me it's less pointless than like yeah. it's half less the passing skills. Things. And you can use it to farm, like you can use it to farm SPPs, not really because there's no throwing anymore. But you know, you could argue that you can use it to to farm SPPs on like your Skaven throw or whatever, and then yeah. you know you've got sure hands against the strip. So like yeah, it does it does something. I mean, obviously you don't take random mutations like ever. Mutations are are still the case that they are things that make players better than they're already good at, rather than they define the player like. Two heads is kind of the exception, like every player wants two heads, but for the most part, you don't take, like, no one takes Prehensile Tail, and it's like, oh good, now I can just, Prehensile Tail's are for players that are already good, already want to be good at that. Yeah, it's been, it's been an absolute at. Dyson try, yeah, absolute fucking Dyson. Yeah. And, like, his team was miles better anyway, and then he's totally diced the pants off him on top of that. Lots of skill for 10k off. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind taking random mutations. In that I could see a world in taking primary random mutations, but also I fucking wouldn't. <laughs> I also just fucking wouldn't <laughs> because it's not block or guard is the is the biggest thing. Yeah, I I think it, it should be. I, I do agree that many of the skills for 10k are probably okay. But the cost isn't just the team value, the cost is the, uh, the SPP and also the skill slot. Like, you only have so many skills you can get. So, like, great, you have Tail. They could have been any other skill that's better. Or it's del and, it and or it's delaying you getting to that skill later. So, the ordering matters, too. Um, oh, shit, yeah, we're in chat, not commentary. Oh, yeah, right. Let's all move. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Now you can't funk. It's okay. <laughs> and Jim needs to uh, share the stream again of this thrilling game as it winds to a close. With, oh. um, Amazon's just getting some SPPs. They're trying to. Yeah. And randoms it like it depends, right? If you if you if you're playing the last game of the season, then yes, rando or something because it's better than nothing, things like that. So it's just all or a tough game. Like there's 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 ran, there's random situations where you will random things and stuff and like there's just I mean, obviously of everyone things. like pointed out to me like yeah, human, orc, Norse, uh sometimes Amazon lineman, Amazon probably lineman less cuz Raj and Blodge become so good, but just just take a random normal and see if you get something that's good for 10k. Yeah. You need to build from that and basically get a free discount on a skill you want anyway. Like, you get wrestle for free or even like fend or tackle. Like, sure, I'm taking or kick or dirty player. Like, those are all skills you're going to take on a player anyway. So just get them for a discount. That's yes, cool. right. Anyway, um, commiserations to whoever the Wood Elf coach was. I've already forgotten. And <laughs> congratulations to Fatal Justice. Um, thank you very much, Squirrel and Daedal. Absolutely glorious. Good luck to get those dice next round. You'll probably win that game too. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.